mind because I'm addicted. Oh, how beepy, how beepy because I'm addicted. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Man, when we told you we have absolutely dope people in studio, we were not lying at all, weren't we, Maria? We were not, man. Listen to the soulfulness, listen to the flow, listen to the melody. Just ah, uh, everything is so nice, man. That was addicted <laughs> from Gritty G and of course pause. Ah, oh, man, it just sounds so good. It feels so good. Like the like energy is just like. Mm. Yeah, you should have seen the studio, y'all. So I was just like, what? It how just lit up, absolutely lit up. Right? Like, how do you, how do you transmit this through the airwaves, man? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Pause. You're so, so, so soulful. Your voice just carries, I don't know, so much good energy in it. Um, what would you say is your sound and that, yeah, like is your distinct sound? Um, I really think I'm um, diverse. First of all, thank you. I'm really, really glad you like the song. Oh, we love <laughs> No, we do. Did you say we're going crazy in studio? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really, really, really happy that you guys enjoyed the song. Um, I feel like my, my taste is a bit diverse because mm -hmm. I bring in a lot. This is actually the only songs in the EP. Yeah. This is the, it's the only... Um, content you have so far i have a lot of work installed for you guys nice. that's why i'm saying it's diverse because yeah. this time you'll hear this vibe the next time you hear something different and you're like is this the same person yeah <laughs> do you yeah. like switching it up yeah yes is it like you know my multiple personalities today you're gonna get miss soul tomorrow you're gonna get a little reggaeton tomorrow a little hip-hop yeah, yeah. hip you little know so well that's it a little yeah. classic mm. reggae that's it yeah yes. what's your favorite song on the ep um first of all i liked um addicted yes uh -huh. until people made me made me think rethink about it uh -huh. people were, were just like oh, i like addicted but mm -hmm. romeo and juliet is the thing <laughs> it's a banger <laughs> it's a banger right yeah i think um is it a, like you're the new romeo and juliet that's the vibe we're getting i love my aduku duku mm. oh. <laughs> i love it i love it i love it the suspense the suspense Lo when you listen to that ep let me tell you you will love it. Because I was listening to it. I go one song. I go another. And I'm just like, you guys are so humble. And then you listen to that EP. And you, you like, it's very difficult to actually, you know, skip. You know, in the world of uh, Spotify and everything. People usually skip stuff. Like, it has... You can you listen to it and you're like, I want to listen to the end. Next, listen to the end. Next, listen to the end. And that's rare. How was it when you guys were actually creating this whole um, process and this product for Love and Misfits? Um, how was it working with the producer as well? What was the best part, the challenging parts about production as well? What are some of those stories? First of all, I want to big up um, Fulami. He's our producer for yeah. Love and Misfits EP. Vibe Top Polas, Monochrome Pictures, everyone. We have a very great team that supports um, us. Because working as an artist independently is really, really difficult. You mm -hmm. need a team to like help you out. So the Love and Misfits EP was a joint project because everyone was there to like, you know, um, you, c you can add this, you can remove this. Everyone had a hand in it. Mm -hmm. So I really feel like it's a joint project for the Vibe Top Ballers, mm. BTB. Yes. Nice. I I like that uh, you you put in everybody's you know work and you're appreciative of everybody and the part that they play. And today's like um, WCW. Are there women that you think like along this music journey have just made you feel so fulfilled and so sure of yourself? And you're like, you know what? I not not that I want to be like you, but you inspire me. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I know this will sound cliche, mm. but I feel like Beyonce has inspired me all my life. I just see her live performances, and I'm like, I wanna hit this. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get to a point that I have a. Uh, a platform full of people just coming to listen to whatever I give them. Yeah. So I feel like Beyonce is a big inspiration. I love Lizzo. I love. I like. I like her vibe. It's amazing. Um. Yeah. So I feel like women are really upping the game. Yeah. Yes. For sure. I love that. You know, all Beyonce fans. We always feel like we have to apologize for being <laughs> cliche, but if she's if she's amazing, she's, she's amazing. amazing. You know, it is what it is. And you're amazing as well. We really want to give you your flowers as well. Uh. And Love and Misfits is a fantastic, fantastic body of work. But also, um, the you know the the flow kazianini rap hapo kidogo goody um yeah. but like David said, you sound like you've been doing this a while. Clearly, is there something? that inspires you when you're writing and you're just like it gets you in that zone for <clears throat> this is what I'm going to write I'm going to write Romeo and Juliet about this I'm going to write Wins about this I'm going to write you know Addicted about this yeah I mean actually my writing process is it's the moment uh, you know sometimes probably you're listening to something and then it gets 
it gets you in a certain mood and you feel mm. like I, I can write something right now and then you go off with it and that's actually how my writing process works mm-hmm. yeah that's so beautiful vibing mm. in the moment listen to something get some inspiration yeah. and then pen to paper yeah, I like Jay-Z he, ri- he says what he writes <laughs> songs in like what seven minutes or something he, the dude doesn't even write man. oh yeah like, he doesn't actually write it on paper yeah it just shows up <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> I know. Um, you had wanted, um, you know, you, you're saying, you know what, if I ever get an opportunity, um, I'd love to, you know, show people an ability of freestyling on radio. And you're like, hmm, he's coming to Nation FM. I heard you. Hmm, you know, would you be interested in yeah, something I, like that? I live for freestyles, <laughs> but I love to freestyle. Yeah. All right. Well, we've got something for you. Mm. Um, <clears> and uh, it's a uh, Drake and Jay-Z pound cake instrumental. Yeah. Um, and let's see what you can be able to do with that. Let's get with it. Here's the beat. Mm. 